Good morning everyone. I got my slow cooker crock pot out this morning because I want to low and slow a roast all day long. It's going to have beefy brown gravy. It's going to have tomatoes and other delicious flavors all combined together. It's going to make your house smell divine all day. When you take that first bite, it's going to be an explosion of flavors in your mouth. We're going to start with a large skillet. We're going to put it over medium-high heat. We're going to add one tablespoon of cooking oil. We're going to add one tablespoon of butter. We're going to give this dish some amazing flavor at every layer. So you want to melt your butter and then you want this to be sizzling hot. That way we get a nice sear on our roast. I have this beautiful round top roast that we're going to be using. It's about a pound and a half. You can use any type of roast that you want to for this recipe. I'm going to season the top part of the roast with some black pepper very generously. It's going to give it some flavor. And then we have some salt. Got a good sear going on in our pan. We're going to go ahead and place our roast in. You want to put the seasoning side down. That way we can season the other side. going to let this sear for four minutes on one side and let it get nice and golden brown and a crust on it. Then we are going to turn it over and sear that side for an additional four minutes. If you are short of time, you can totally skip this step of searing the roast. When you sear the roast, it gives it a nice flavor, locks in the juices, and gives it a nice color also. Let me show you these beautiful vegetables that I'm going to be putting into the crock pot with the roast. I've got some large carrots that I'm going to chop up, some celery. If you can get the celery with the leaves on it, oh, it just adds such a nice picture to the roast. If you look at that, very nice. I've got three stalks of celery. I've got a large onion that I'm just going to chop up. And then I've got some baby yellow potatoes over here that we're going to use. You can use any kind of potato. Just make sure that they're chopped pretty big. They're going to sit in the crock pot for quite a while. Now once it's seared, we're going to go ahead and place it into the crock pot. We're cutting the carrots in big chunks because they're going to be stewing all day. And we want some hearty vegetables in there. I'm just going to cut my onions into large chunks. These will melt, so you want them to hold their shape, just like that. Fill up your crock pot with all those delicious vegetables. We're going to go ahead now and make that tomato beef gravy for our roast. I'm just using a large measuring cup or you can use a medium bowl. I have 8 ounces of beef broth, 10 ounces of diced tomatoes, quarter teaspoon of black pepper, quarter teaspoon of some garlic powder, 
two packages of brown gravy. We're just going to whisk this together. Oh, it smells delicious. We're going to add one cup of water. Stir that again. We're going to pour that all over our potatoes, carrots, celery, onions, and the seared roast. We're going to place the lid on. We're going to cook this on low for 8 to 10 hours. It depends on the size of your roast or you can cook it on high between six and eight hours. You want to make sure that your roast is nice and pull apart tender. This is my roast. It is fork tender. Then we got the potatoes. They're nice and cooked through. Oh yes, and the carrots cooked through. Y'all, I want to show you this beautiful gravy that it made. I pulled this out of the crock pot. Look at that. Mm. Brown gravy and tomato roast. Ooh, delicious for fall or winter time. Okay, I'm finally here with my bite. It took all day, but it is so worth it. The aroma in the house alone just, oh my gosh. I know what's going to happen here. Let's try it. Mm, mm. Oh yeah, there are flavors going all through this and it's in the carrots, it's in that beef, it's so tender, it's fork tender. The celery and the onions, oh, y'all saw me make that gravy, oh my gosh, that gravy alone, you can drink that gravy. <laughs> I'm out of here. <laughs> Y'all, give me a thumbs up on this one. Make sure you comment down below. Check out my other Crock-Pot roast recipes that I have if you need some other ideas. And if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below and that bell notification. That way you'll always know when my shows are posted. I'll see you on my next episode.